March 25th, fourth day of the week that we shall call a Wednesday. Now, brethren, it's time to get right over into the Lord's Care Ministry. Knowledge and wisdom comes from above. Day 84 of the year 2009. Again, brethren, it's time to open up our Bibles and read along with me. And use the pause button because I'll probably go faster than you can turn to your place to read. Also write the chapter and verse down on a pad and paper and that way you can read the whole context of what we're trying to teach. Well with that done brother let's turn over to Luke chapter 5 and verse 5. Master we have toiled all night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless at thy word, I will let down the net. Matthew, chapter 28, verses 18 through 20. All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go you therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the world. Well, and here's a little lesson. Uh, this part has been added in so oh, many years ago, but I think it was back around 800 A.D. You never find any place in the Bible, in the Word of God, where anybody was baptized under these. He was always baptized under the name of Jesus Christ. Look it up. Don't believe me. Read the Bible. Now let's go to Matthew chapter 13, verse 47. The kingdom of heaven is like unto a net that was cast into the sea. Now let's turn over to 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 16 and 22. Though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of. Necessity is laid upon me. Yea, woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. I am made all things to all men that I might by all means save some. Galatians chapter 6 and verse 9. Let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 11. My word shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. Now let's go back to 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 7. So then, Neither is he that planteth anything, neither he that watereth, but God that giveth the increase. Wisdom comes from above. Righteousness exalts a nation. Rulers should follow wise principles. I agree with that. Encourage excellence. Proverbs chapter 22 and verse 29 we read, Do you see a man who excels in his work? He shall stand before kings. He will not stand before unknown men. Reward wisdom. Proverbs chapter 14 verse 35. The king's favor is toward a wise servant, but his wrath is against him who causes shame. Detour wickedness. Proverbs tra chapter 20 and verse 26. A wise king sifts out the wicked and brings the threshing wheel over them. Ooh. Proverbs chapter 25 and verse verses 4 through 5. Take away the dross from silver and it will go to the silversmith for his jewelry. Take away the wicked from before the king, and his throne will be established in righteousness. Proverbs chapter 29, verse 16. When the wicked are multiplied, transgression increases. 
increasing, but the righteous will see their fall. Transgression here is for the ones that know the law and purposely break it. Proverbs chapter 28 verse 2. Because of transgression of a land, many are his princes. But a man of understanding and knowledge right will be prolonged. His, a Philippian pilgrim, a workman for God, a friend of Christ, wise men seeking Jesus. Matthew chapter 28 and verse 20. I am with you always to the very end of the age. Brethren, in God's word only do we trust. Never in the tradition of men. Brethren, are you walking that narrow path to the kingdom and salvation? Or are you following the tradition of men to follow that broad path to destruction? Are you following God's word or some man's word? Never follow my word or any other man. Follow the word of God that you find in the letter that he wrote to, wrote to you. And that word is found in your own Bible. Believe it. Believe every word. Christ says in Matthew chapter 4 and verse 4, Luke chapter 4 and verse 4, Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 4, every word of God, never the tradition of men. And brethren, if you want to change, get down on your knees and repent and ask the Father and the Son for forgiveness for, for following men's word. And if you want to change in your heart, they will give you the wisdom and the knowledge of understanding to go the narrow path. Well, with that, brethren, we're going to close for today.